as a digital entrepreneur, I'm always trying different streams of income to see if it's something that I can add to our regular income. And I decided to try freelancing on Fiverr and I was able to make $1,000 in my first 30 days. Hi, my name is Eileen. I'm an online entrepreneur and here on my channel, Hustle and Slow, I teach people all about working from home because I think that anybody can do it if they want to. Here on this channel, Hustle and Slow, I talk all about entrepreneurship, making money from home, being a work at home mom, and I like to motivate others to try and make an income from home because I think anybody can do it. Today, I'm gonna to talk about making money on Fiverr, which is a freelancing marketplace. Like I said, Fiverr is a freelancing marketplace. It is somewhere that entrepreneurs and freelancers can offer their services and clients or customers can purchase those services. It's kind of a little known fact that when Fiverr started years ago, you could actually only charge $5 for your product or service. I did try it out back then, but it didn't seem to be worth it for me since $5 wasn't enough for me to make a custom order for somebody. Um, so I kind of ditched it and wrote it off and I didn't think about it again until I was on TikTok and someone mentioned that they were making a full-time income, actually six figures on Fiverr. Um, her name is Alex and I will link to her down below if you want to check her out, but she has been making six figures on Fiverr for quite a while now as a freelance writer and that inspired me to give Fiverr another try now that you can actually charge what you're worth and not just five dollars. You might be wondering what you can sell on Fiverr and you can sell your services on Fiverr. There are a lot of different categories like graphic design, writing, um, video editing, a lot of different categories. You can go through Fiverr and look at the categories yourself if you're interested in checking it out, but there are a lot of different categories that you can check out and you might have skills in that you can offer to clients on Fiverr. So how does Fiverr work? So a quick overview of Fiverr is you create a gig, which is basically your package offering for your service and a client will buy it. Then you fulfill that order and deliver it to your customer. I'll go into a little bit more detail in a minute, but that's the basic idea of how Fiverr works. First, I wanna go over the pros and cons of Fiverr. While I do think it is a fantastic platform for selling your services because you have built-in clients, there are some cons as well. So let's go over the pros first. The first pro is that, like I said, you have built-in clients, so you don't have to go finding clients. Um, you just create your gig on Fiverr and make sure that it's optimized so that people can find it and people will come to you. There are also a wide range of services that you can offer. You can add upsells or add-ons to your gigs so that people can pay for additional services from you, which will up the price of your order and how much money you're making. And one of the huge bonuses is that you're not chasing down your clients for payments. If you're a freelancer or an entrepreneur, you know that sometimes it can be a hassle to chase down your clients for payments after you've already delivered work to them. So with Fiverr, when a client orders from you, um, Fiverr actually holds onto the money for you and, and then Fiverr pays you once you've delivered your order. Now there are some cons to Fiverr and one of them is that they take 20% of your order. So if you sell a gig or an order for $25, they will take five of those dollars and you'll only get 20 of them. But to me, this is kind of, obviously they are business and they need to make money. They need to pay their employees and keep their website working and all of the expenses that they have as a business. And to me, it's totally worth it because they are um, bringing in clients for me and I'm not having to go out and find them myself. And when you're just getting started, it can take up to two weeks for your payment to clear so that you can cash out and get a direct deposit in your bank account. The last one could be a con to some people, but I actually like it. It's that there's a timer element to Fiverr. So when you create your gig, you can say how long it will take you to deliver. So if you say two days, once you get an order and your client delivers everything that um, you're going to need from them to complete that order, a countdown will start. And if you're late, it kind of dings your account. So you really have to make sure that you are delivering on time, but I actually kind of like that countdown timer because it helps me keep on task and make sure that I'm delivering things on time. So I know next you're going to wanna to know how much money you can make on Fiverr, and really the sky's the limit. It depends on what services you can offer, how much you're charging for them, how many clients you can get, etc. Like I said, I followed a girl named Alex on TikTok who was talking about making six figures on Fiverr, and so that is definitely possible and that is probably not the norm but i made over a thousand dollars in my first 30 days of offering my freelance writing services on fiverr and i think that's totally attainable for a lot of people while a thousand dollars isn't exactly enough to pay all of our bills each month it is a good chunk of money and when you're an entrepreneur and you're diversifying your income and you have several different income streams it's okay to just make 500 or a thousand dollars here and there 
and all of that really does add up to a full-time income. So if you're interested in getting started on Fiverr, keep watching because I'm gonna give you some of the basic steps and tips as well for getting started on Fiverr. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is figure out what service you're going to offer on Fiverr, go through their website, look at all the categories, see what other gigs people are offering. Um, gigs are basically their packages and see what you can offer. Write down some ideas of skills that you have or experience that you have that you can offer to other people on Fiverr. Once you've kind of figured out what you want to sell, what service you want to sell on Fiverr, you can go ahead and sign up and fill out your profile. I'll have a link down below where you can sign up for Fiverr. You can go ahead and fill out your profile and make sure you fill it out completely. I have three tips for a good profile on Fiverr. The first one is to make sure you have a picture of yourself. It helps so people can see who they are working with. Um, fill out your profile completely and add some information to kind of sell yourself, whether it's some information on your skills or experience, um, your education, or whatever you want to say to people who are looking to hire you. You just kind of want to say a few things to make people confident in hiring you. Next, you're going to want to set up your gigs on Fiverr. Your gigs are your service packages or your service offerings. As a beginner, you are going to be in the basic level. Fiverr has different levels of sellers based on how much they have sold. When you begin, you'll be in that first level as a new seller and you'll be able to make up to seven gigs. You'll be able to have seven active gigs and I recommend using all of them if you can. Even if you're only offering one service, you can just create seven different gigs for that one service and just word them differently, use different photos, etc. If you have seven different opportunities to be hired, why not use all of them? There are thousands of people on Fiverr. There's a lot of competition out there. So utilizing all seven of your gigs will help you get a better chance at getting hired those first few times. The way Fiverr has you title your gigs is they have you say, I will, and then you fill in the blank. So if you were a low logo designer, you could have seven different gigs for logo designing um, and just word them differently. So for example, you could say, I will design your logo. I will design your business logo. I will design a vintage logo. I will design a logo in 24 hours. I will give you five logo options. Those are just some examples of different gigs that you can have that are all the same gig basically, but um, you're able to utilize all seven of your gigs. So once you have started filling out your gig information, there's a bunch of information in there you're going to want to fill out. Um, and then you're going to want to do your description. And a good gig description will tell people who you are, what you're offering, and why they should hire you. It's really important to answer all three of those questions and look really professional in this part because this is where you're selling your service to your buyer. This is where you can stand out against your competition. If you need some ideas on how to word your gig or um, what to offer, or if you just need some inspiration, you can go ahead and check out other people's gigs, not to copy, but just to see what other people are offering, to see what people are saying in their gig descriptions, etc., so that you have an idea of where to start. You're also going to need a gig image, and I recommend putting your face on that gig image so that people can see who they're working with. It's going to help you stand out a bit against the people who aren't showing their face, who aren't showing who people are going to be working with. Using your face in your gig image will help you stand out amongst the people who are not using their face in their gig image. It really helps kind of create a connection with your potential buyer um, or client and helps them be able to trust you when they can see who they're working with. To create your gig image, you can just go to Canva. I'll link it down below so you can get there. And they do have a free account where you can just create graphics and you can use that to create a nice looking graphic with a picture of you and just like a short um, kind of a headline for your gig. So once you have your gig set up, it's time to just wait for orders to come in. Um, you want to make sure you have your gig totally set up. You've added tags, you've added information, you've added good keywords, stuff like that for people that are searching for specific things when they're on Fiverr looking for a freelancer. And it can take a while to get that first order. I think it was about a week before I got my first order but it kind of snowballed from there. Here are some tips to getting your first few orders. My first tip and my biggest tip is to start cheap. And I don't usually say this because I think that you should charge what your time is worth. But when you're just getting started on Fiverr and you have zero reviews and you're up against people who have been on there for years and have lots of reviews, it's important to kind of get those first few reviews and you're going to get a better chance at getting those first few orders if you're really cheap because people are willing to gamble on you if you're service is a lot cheaper than everybody else. So for example, I write blog posts on Fiverr and when I first started, I was just charging $10 per 500 word blog post. And I did that for probably my first 10 or 20 orders. And then I was able to slowly up my price from there. Once you do get those orders, make sure you do really good work um, so that people are encouraged to leave you a review. And then as always deliver quickly. If you said that you can deliver in 24 hours or two days, make sure you deliver within that time frame so that you can impress your buyer 
and hopefully get a review from them. Some people say to have your friends or family buy a gig from you so that they can leave a review. And while you can totally do that, I think it's honestly kind of dishonest unless they actually need that service. So it's up to you if you wanna give that a try. So those are my tips for making money on Fiverr. Like I said, I was able to make $1,000 doing freelance writing on Fiverr in my first 30 days. So it really is possible for you to make a decent amount of money on the side or even make it a full-time income over time. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure you subscribe if you want to hear more from me. I talk all about entrepreneurship, working online, making money from home, and I try to make it easy and accessible for everybody to make money from home because I think we can all do it. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.